what's up guys it's your boy dan back from scale dynasty and today we've got another install video for you so you've upgraded from body posts to magnet mounts your shell's looking super super sick but now you're finding every time you're driving your shell is popping off a hell of a lot when you're crashing other people are crashing into you so i have got the perfect solution today we're going to be installing these awesome overdose real grade body post mounts not only do these body posts add some scale goodness to your car by looking like little aero catches on the front here but they also hold them down and stop the body from popping off fully the magnets might disconnect at the back but the front will stay on meaning that you get more driving time and look super cool at the same time so let's open this bag up and see what it's all about now these things are super simple to install. Overdose does a great job providing you with the instructions and give you a great step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. Most of the time you don't need to use these body posts because your body will already have posts that will fit these. However, I did find out on my RDX that you need to use the overdose ones. I do know that the Yokomo or the MST ones fit directly so you do not need to use these so with that being said these are going on the mst hire car so let's prep these parts and get them ready to go on the shell and there we have the um assembly all put together the spring simply just clicks in place the collar goes on top and then the little um latch bit goes through those tiny holes this is the most difficult bit really is getting that bit in um but you want it nice and tight and that simply rocks backwards and forwards to keep everything nice and snug with these all built up we can put them to one side and have a look at installing them onto the front of the body posts so depending on your front setup um, you need to remove this top brace this is a 1.5 mil allen and then this magnet mount comes off and I actually want to move my body post out to the um, the wider setting either side. Um, and that simply is just those two screws under there, which is a 2mm Allen. And then also the 2mm um, Allens either side here to remove this um, uh, securing bracket and then refit them on the wider setting. If yours are already like that, simply all you need to do is get your body post uh, mounting system, slide it over there and secure it with a body post pin. Now we've got our front body posts all installed. Now we can look on how to get the shell mounted in exactly the right place. So first of all, I make sure that the, um, the catches are pointing upwards. I've got two bits of tape place on top just like that get some paint or I've got a paint pen here and just dip some paint onto the top like so and then using the magnets at the back to center the car we just want to lower the front of the chassis down over the wheels right in the right place push down and if we've done our job properly we can see the marks there and there are in the right place. So once we've got the markings transferred to the underside of the shell, we can use our bradle tool to ream out the hole to the correct size. The correct size is a seven mil. Um, so we can always get our tool here and then we can use our, um, vernier calipers to measure down 
until the correct length and mark with some tape or we can just be careful as we go reaming the hole out slowly and then checking the fitment with the aero catch as we go um, I've done this a few times so I'm just going to do that I know roughly what the hole size is but it's always a good idea um, if you've got um, a vernier caliper to measure and stick a little bit of tape on the edge there um, just to make sure that you don't go any further than you need to the last thing you want to do is like drill a hole that is too big and with the holes drilled and the arrow catches installed you simply press them in screw onto the back there and you're ready to install onto the chassis now if you've done this all correctly everything should work just as so we can place the body down onto the chassis the pins will just locate exactly where they need to be and then you just press down, flip the top of the catches over, and there we go. They look cool, and they keep your body from coming off. The only thing left to do now is to cut the post down to the appropriate height to get the good ride height that you want. Um, always do this after you've installed the pins. That way, it's the easiest to, to install the pins, and then afterwards we can get it to the correct ride height. And with that simple install done, we are ready to hit the track. And I just want to say a massive thank you and a shout out to Asbo RC for sorting these out. If you want to grab some yourself, hop down into the description below and you can find the link of where I got them from. And I highly recommend them. So until next time, take it easy. <laughs>